y'all welcome back to my channel so i was on my computer i found this old tutorial that i made way back when during the college years like five months ago in it i'm showing you all how to dye a synthetic wig um using fw inks which are professional grade artist inks whatnot and it's pretty inexpensive so that's a plus so anywho here's the video i hope you all like it and check it out let's get it Oh, my cute college self. Anywho, had nothing to do that day. Then it hit me, ooh, I wanna make an ombre wig, y'all. So I went on Google and I found my image for my reference. I love, love, love this hair. And I got some plotting. <laughs> um, then I went onto eBay and I found this blonde wig. You can also use white. It's a lace front and I'll post more about it in the description box. Then I went onto deepbleak.com and I got artist inks in green turquoise, indigo, and black. And then you're also gonna need some Sharpies just in case you miss a couple spots. Then you're gonna use a wide tooth comb for parting the hair into sections, some 70% alcohol, and some spray bottles. Now you can use three or four, whatever you desire. Some gloves, and some hair clips. And I'm pretty sure I lost most of them, so. And a couple bobby pins as well as some tablecloths because it's gonna get really, really messy. So begin by covering up your area with the tablecloth. And if you have a little extra, make a cute apron because you are so cool. And then you are ready to go. So start by parting the hair into three different sections. I didn't really uh, leave a lot of hair for the bottom section just because I didn't think I would need that much, but that's totally up to you. And then it's gonna kinda look like this. You're gonna take your alcohol and pour it in just about one fourth of the way, one fourth of the bottle really. Um, and it should look about something like that. And then you're gonna shake up your green and then pour a couple drops in. Now you wanna sort of test it out a little bit on the hair just to see if you like the color. And then add as you, as you go. Put on your handy dandy gloves and start spraying. And I ended up using six full drops um, just because that's kind of what my desired color came up to be. And I went from the root and I sprayed a lot on the root and then as I got towards the tips, I kind of sprayed a little bit less. Then I spread it out with a brush. You can also use the comb as well. And it looks a little something like this where the, the roots are dark and the tips are pretty light. And you're gonna twist your hair up. It's like cute little buns like so. And then you're going to secure in with a bobby pin. And it's gonna make the little uh, Princess Leia effect. I think that's adorable. I'd wear it just like that. Not really. And you're gonna take your second section of hair And kind of what I did was I divided it into three sections um, so that it would be easier to work with. I really just took my time, y'all. Just take your time and it will turn out perfectly. And then you're gonna take your second spray bottle and fill it up one fourth. And then take your turquoise. And I also put six full drops in again because I really wanted the color to come out. And then I started again at the root and then made my way down to the tips. And then instead of spraying it with turquoise, I added a little bit of green just to continue on with that ombre effect. And then again, I took my brush, spread it out and combed it, and then pinned it up. Then I took my indigo and I basically did the same process. Sprayed it at the tips and then went a little bit lighter as I went further down. And then I put at the very, very bottom, I put a little bit of green too, as you'll see, um, just because I really was obsessed with that green. I love green. They say it's not a really cute color, but it's my favorite color. Well, one of them. Then I took some black and I, instead of using a, um, a different spray bottle, I just put four squirts in there. Um, and then I sprayed it on the very, very tip of the root or basically the root area. Um, then I took a blow dryer and I put it on the highest settings so that it would dry out really, really quickly rather than waiting overnight. And then it took about like 10, 15 minutes. 
And then you're gonna take out the curls and then you're gonna rinse it and then let it air dry overnight. And then bada bing, bada boom. Look at that, that is gorgeous. You are gonna look so cute at your next party. They're all gonna be jealous. So then you're gonna blend and style to your liking. And then voila, you have the perfect mix of mermaid and ombre and just gorgeousness. So I hope you all enjoy it. Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hit you up with another video coming soon. Bye.